Welcome back everyone to the channel. Um welcome back to Winter Weather Season with Manny Williams. I hope you like and share it to your friends and family. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that bell for your own safety and also welcome. Now we're going to get to um severe weather protocol by Manny Williams. If you have um, something like this right here, where you have um, a, a high chance, a slight, um, and um, a thunder, a general thunderstorm, this is basically what you need to do if you're in that high or slight. You need to get uh, some type of midland weather radio. And we're actually going to look that up for you because uh, that should really help you. And as you can see, you have this one right here, um, and you have tons. Um, and I actually have this one right here, and I'm actually planning on getting this one right here. You can charge your phone on this one um, for when you lose power. Okay, so what you need to do is you got to get that. Um, you need to get food and water if there's a really tornado risk. You need to get your pets. I don't care if it's a wind event. Oh, and you also need to go to the basement. But I don't care if it's a wind event. Tornado. Lightning. You should take weather protocol. Severe weather protocol. Um, because all this stuff really matters. And then also look at this channel again. This should really help you. Okay. Now it's time to go to... Um, oh, that was the end of severe weather protocol. We have to do some breaking news. We may have severe weather like this breaking out in the south. And as you can see, it's not going to be exactly like this where you have this extended line. But it's going to be close enough. And if you actually take a look, well, I'll actually show you. Alright, so this is basically what's going to happen. You're gonna have you're gonna see a low pressure start to form. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see some snow in the mountains and uh and then you some thunderstorms in the Rockies. Uh in the Rocky uh, no. Thun snow in the Rocky Mountains and then thunderstorms um in the uh Great Plains. I also want you to take a look here at Oklahoma and Texas. The severity is going to be right here. Look at some of these thunderstorms pretty intense right you still have that low pressure lingering then it will continue to push its way off um maybe some thunderstorms ending in the houston and lake charles area now let's take a um one at um let's take a look at up oh, we're at the northeast let's take a look at our longer re um model and as you can see, we have tons of more rain and thunderstorms. Um, another one just starts off off the coast. We have extreme um, golf moisture that's coming up. And we also have some windy conditions in North Texas. Um, and then they'll continue um, uh, with the thunderstorms in South Texas and um in a little bit of central texas um it's not a guarantee that you may lose power um but it's possible it's possible that we have some severe weather right in here uh we have a marginal for um this area over here um actually let's go to the nws to show you some of this Okay, and as you can see, we have still flood warnings for some of these areas, river flood warnings, um, because they got dumped with heavy rain. You also have red flag warnings, um, wind advisories, um, it's pretty dry in those areas, high wind warnings for that whole area, um, wind advisories, wind advisory, wind chill warnings, uh, I'm sorry, wind chill watches. Uh, not watches, advisories. 
Now let's let me show you the marginal risk that we do have for today. And as you can see, it's for that North Texas or uh, North North East Texas, like that snippet of it. But like I showed you, we have this area right here where the thunderstorms really start to pop. So where are our chances for tornadoes? We actually have less than two areas. Wind, less than two areas. Hail, though, we do have it for um, the remainder. Oh, I thought I had my pin on. We have it for 20 vial. Um, we may have two-inch um, hail diameter or larger within 25 of a point. As you see, it's for Garden City, Kansas, um, Dodge City, Kansas, um, Liberal, Kansas, Woodward, Oklahoma, and Ilk, uh, Ilk City, Oklahoma. Now, OKC, you are actually in um, the um, no label severe thunderstorm. So you may have a spotty thunderstorm because you're like right near that line um, of severe weather. Okay. Now we move on to the northeast. And as you can see, the northeast is going to get hit with rounds of heavy rain. Um, some more rounds. And then there's one where there's some snow on the back. You can see right there. There's actually a dividing line. And I want you to take a look at that dividing line. It's going to be like right there. Okay. So take a look at that dividing line. You see how the snow is just staying right there. So we're going to have some warm air come in from the Atlantic as we have those winds pushing around. Um, it's not going to be a nor'easter because the low is like over here. It's going to be pushing here. And you'll see that. See the low is right there. And it's just going to stay there. But we're going to have some windy conditions um, when this thing leaves in the northeast. Okay, now we go to um, the U.S. and we're going to talk about the temperatures. And we're going to have, of course, warm temperatures for this part of um, the region or the USA for uh, a good part of um, the week. Then it starts to push east. Um, some it not, well, ooh, put that a little too far up. So, um these areas will get it, and um, people here for the mid um, for the mid Atlantic and the Northeast, you will actually have some 60s in Philadelphia, um, close to 70 in Washington D.C. too. Also, I want to uh, very quickly show you um, what our hurricane severe weather stuff will look like. All right, so. This is for when we uh when uh we ever have a hurricane, um and I'm just tracking it and I will show you where it's coming from. Also, if we have a area to watch, I'll also show you that. This is for severe weather. When we have severe weather, um I will put it out and then uh, possibly go live on my Instagram, um or on my YouTube. I also have a mod where um, right now there's no lightning, um, but where I where uh, I go based off the radar and it gives me the lightning strikes on here. And then this is for when we have some snow um, in any part of the country. You can see this is the heavy snow right here. This is the light snow. This is the heavy snow. This is the light snow. This is high pressure. This is the low pressure. This is the rain. This is the possible scattered thunderstorms. Um, icing, a mix. Um, it's going to be sunny and cloudy in these areas. It's going to be cloudy for these areas. So um, the Ohio Valley, sunny and cloudy. Lehigh Valley, cloudy. Um, so some storms um, in the Hartford area, 
New Haven area. So thanks for watching. That was just a little snippet of basically what we will be having. Um, and also, you should take a look at my Instagram. Um, remember to go like. Um, go remember to like and share to your friends and family, and also go check out my Instagram, Manny the Weatherman. Um, and have a great day.